Hey there guys, Zach here for Windows Central and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 10 build 18282. This build includes a number of new features and enhancements over the last public preview build which was 18277. So it's been a few days since our last build video and that's because this build has a lot of stuff in it. And when that happens, it's time to do another build video. So yes, this build, as you can see, by default, there is a new wallpaper. The old Windows 10 wallpaper is gone. It's a brighter version of the original wallpaper, and that's because Microsoft has added a new system-wide light theme to the operating system in this build as well. So if we jump into personalization here, go down to colors, you'll see that there's a drop-down menu which has the options for dark, light, and custom. If we select light here, not only do apps change, but the taskbar, start menu, and action center do as well and it looks quite clean. Yes, the light mode is a very clean experience. This is kind of like what Microsoft was showing off in its Fluent Design concept art videos originally. It's now working in code and it looks pretty great. Now the dark mode is obviously what we all know and love. Um, dark mode is best mode and always will be, but light is also a nice addition for those who enjoy that instead. There's also a custom option which allows you to change um, the color of apps without affecting the shell and vice versa. So if I want light apps and a dark taskbar, I can have that, just like how Windows usually is by default anyway. But if you're slightly strange, you can also have um, dark apps with a light shell. Who would even use this way? I don't know. But hey, there's people have asked for it. Here you go. That's what it would look like. I personally just prefer dark because dark theme is best theme. But of course, for the sake of this video, we will use the light theme since it's new and pretty. OK, moving right along. The next noteworthy change is there's now a drop shadow behind the action center, uh, which uh, is very subtle. You can see it here. If you zoom in or just put your face closer to the screen, you can see that there is a drop shadow there. And this matches the rest of the window shell. The start menu's had it for quite a while, as you can see here, as have um, system tray flyouts. Now the action center matches. For some reason it wasn't there before, it's like they forgot, but they've added it back and now shadows are consistent and it's very nice. In addition, there's also fluent design in jump lists now. So if we right click on stuff on the taskbar here, oh, actually I might need to turn to dark mode just to show you this because it's a little bit difficult to see. Give me just a second. If we switch to dark mode here and reopen the jump lists, you'll see that there's now fluent design that follows you along uh, in the jump list on the taskbar and within the start menu as well. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Let's right click on something here. There we go. And it looks nice. It's got acrylic blur effects in the background. It has fluent design reveal effects as well. Although to be fair, they don't seem to follow you on these menus. <gasps> Are they cheating? Is this a fake version of reveal? I can't believe it, but it does actually follow you on the taskbar, which is nice. So hopefully they add the following effects to the start menu at some point as well. Um, power also has it here, although it does follow you there, which is nice. Um, Oh, and also since you may have noticed it there, but now the hamburger menu in start will open by default by hovering on it instead of just having to press the hamburger button up here. That's a nice mini change so I can hover on it. Then if I come out of there, it will go away as well. Just a minor change, but it's very nice. In addition, this has been in testing for a little while. I think it was a 50-50 split, but now I think everybody has it. You can now unpin groups from start. So if you have a bunch of different tiles that you just want to get rid of all at once, you can just go, I am done with this group unpin from start and they will all disappear. Very nice indeed. Also new in this build is the ability to take screenshots of just windows using the built-in snipping tool. Unfortunately, it's only enabled for 50% of insiders and I'm on the side that doesn't have it enabled, so I can't actually show it to you, but hey, just imagine another option up here that when tapped on would give me the ability to um, snip only a window. So you could just select the window and without having to manually sort of go up here and get the the exact pixel where the window ends and begins, it will just automatically do it for you. Jumping into settings, let's take a look at um, Windows Update. Windows Update's UI here has been updated a tiny bit. You can see that they've brought a lot of the Windows Update's configurable options to the forefront of the category. So you can now pause updates for seven days straight from there without having to dive into advanced settings and whatnot. I can change active hours. Uh, let's go back here. Let's also change, let's view update history. You can see I just installed the new build and there's also advanced options still which you can dive into and whatnot. So yeah, that's, that's a nice additional change. Microsoft is making Windows Update easier to configure. So uh, those of you who like to mess about with Windows Update settings, you can now do so in with ease. Also, and this is a dark mode thing, so let's go back and turn on dark mode. Uh, the OneDrive flyout, which was, uh, I believe this was a change in the last build, but I didn't know it was there. So let's just take a look at it now. Has dark mode support. 
and it looks quite nice. So there you have it guys, that's a quick look at Windows 10 build 18.282. Quite a few changes in this one, the light theme is definitely a nice addition. So for those wondering if light theme will be the default theme in Windows going forward, I don't believe so. I believe that custom will be default with the original configuration of a dark taskbar with light apps. Um, just like that. This is basically what Windows looks like today for most people, since most people don't customize their color anyway. So I believe that custom in this configuration will be default. So yes, you'll be able to come in here and if you just want to go all light, you can do so or all dark, you can also do that as well. But for now, that's a quick look at Windows 10 build 18282. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you in the next one. Bye bye.